This is a homemade furnace. And this is my attempt at making it for free. After numerous failed attempts and countless experiments. I have finally managed it. For how we got here, we need to go back a few weeks to when I was making a melting furnace. And I was thinking that this would have been the perfect project for my younger self, but I wouldn't have wanted to spend the £50 to make it. So, after hours of thought, countless trials and plenty of salvaging, I have come up with this. A paint can for the outer wall of the furnace, holes in a hairdryer to ensure enough airflow to get the temperature high enough to melt aluminium, and a tin can for the crucible. So, here we are ready to melt some metal with some salvaged bits. One thing you will need to buy is charcoal for the fuel, as during my trials I tried using wood, thinking it is readily available and free in most instances. While it did melt the aluminium on occasions, it wasn't hot enough to melt it consistently. Now, on to lighting the charcoal version. At this point, it is worth mentioning that both the paint can and the tin can have coatings on them. These can give off fumes. So let's make ourselves scarce for about 30 minutes while these burn off. Now we can add the aluminium and get melting. Perfect, that worked to treat. Now both of these are sheet steel. You can check this with a magnet while you're salvaging. They won't last particularly long and I'd use a new tin can each time as it won't take long for it to burn through and you certainly don't want molten metal everywhere. Ultimately, you can use any steel container for the outer wall of the furnace and any steel tin or cup for the crucible. You can also use anything sharp to make the holes in the furnace. For my trial furnace, I used a knife. And while it is possible, it's not the safest thing to do and you'd be much better off using a drill. So, that's my attempt at making a melting furnace as cheap as possible. I hope it's reduced the barrier of cost to melting metal at home. It's been a fun project and one that I know my younger self would have been particularly pleased with. <laughs>